Good evening everyone, this is Dr. Khalil Salim speaking from Mu'ta University. Uh, I just came across a beautiful case uh, presented at the Ophthalmology Journal, um, issue May 20, 2022. Um, it's a case of arteriovenous fistula for a 65-year-old patient who suddenly um, complained of redness and proptosis of the left eye. Um, examination uh, demonstrated these corkscrew-like blood vessels, as you can see here, uh, dilated, and the episcleral uh, venous uh, vessels were also dilated. Uh, best corrected visual acuity at the time presentation was 20-25. Intraocular pressure was, uh, let's say, the high normal, 21 millimeter mercury. Angiogram confirmed the diagnosis of an intra orbital arteriovenous fistula. Uh, the patient was sent home uh, with uh, topical uh, um, anti-glaucoma medications, as I assume. However, two months later, he developed sudden blurring of vision with uh, 2200 uh, vision. The macula had subretinal fluid and dilated uh, croidal vessels uh, as well was observed. So they speculated that hydrodynamic abnormalities resulted in dysfunction of the corticapillaris and retinal pigment epithelium. So the, uh, uh, the ocular manifestations, they regressed spontaneously uh, after closure, uh, after spontaneous closure of the low flow fistula. Now, there are actually two concerns uh, that I'd like to raise here. First of all, was the patient hypermetropic? We didn't know anything about the refractive error. We know that patients with hypermetropia, they are more prone to get uveal effusion syndrome. Number two, uh, giving uh, very potent agents that lower the intraocular pressure also can cause uveal effusion syndrome if the uh, patient uh, uh, had uh, a carotid cavernous fistula. So you have to be really very uh, cautious when giving those medications. Uh, and we really didn't understand much about the uh, progression of the uh, disease. Let's say, you know, within the, these two months, what was the follow-up? How did they manage the case? It wasn't really clear. But uh, it's really interesting to see, uh, you know, a patient with a, 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 retin a, a, a subretinal fluid uh, secondary to uh, carotid cavernous fistula. That was really a very interesting case. However, I think it needed more investigations. We needed to know more uh, about the uh, intraocular, you know, intraocular pressure changes caused by medication. We need to know more uh, about the refractive error of that patient. Um, and that's it. Have a nice day.